So what we did is we looked at all of our, so, so, you know, I think that um, CRS and ICANNs are very well defined, but there's sort of this new phenomena that's probably always been around that I think people might have labeled as uh, severe CRS or hemophagocystic lymphohistiocytosis type syndrome. Um, it probably doesn't fit in any of those boxes perfectly because it's a car mediated toxicity. And so um, we looked at our experience with CAR T cells and, you know, we've had a lot of clinical experiences that I've been talking about with this 2019 construct. And we looked across, you know, multiple, um, you know, sort of our, our, our institutional cohort of patients and, and found that, you know, there was a subset of patients that developed this HLH like toxicity and it manifested again with this high ferritin, uh, coagulopathy, elevated liver enzymes, um, and generally correlated with worse outcomes. Um, many of these patients would end up dying of infectious complications because they needed additional immunosuppression um, to sort of ameliorate this. So a lot of these patients got um, high doses of steroids or anakinra. Um, other people got uh, roxolitinib or, or other treatments available um, for this phenomena. And so, um, you know, what we're trying to do is just better define this. Uh, I think other groups have done the same. And uh, really with the goal of helping other institutions out there who may see toxicities like this to learn from our experience about how to manage it. Um, our biggest takeaway is that it is reversible, um, you know, and, and we're actually uh, treating it earlier rather than sort of letting it um, uh, continue on. And, and then really, I think you have to be careful in, about mitigating infectious complications, which was really um, our major complication um, among patients who developed this um, HLH type syndrome.